Hey guys, you're listening to the English Made Simple Show. This is episode number 272, number 272, numero 272. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back, amigos y amigas. This is your host, Milena, speaking. You're tuning in to the English Made Simple show. If you'd like to check me out, you can find me at EnglishMadeSimple.net. This is where I live. This is my home. While you're there, you can find a huge list of episodes of the EMS show, as well as useful resources to help you accelerate your English learning journey. Thanks again for joining me in today's episode. Uh, today, we'll continue with our uh, short chat segment. I think I have about three more short chat um, episodes left for you. I have prepared three more for you. I hope you're enjoying them. Today, we're going to learn how to make an appointment with a friend. You're going to learn some new phrases and new vocabulary. More specifically, you're going to learn some slang. Slang is like colloquial phrases or informal phrases. It's the way that, you know, friends talk with each other. Very casual. They don't talk like, you know, the queen from England, for example. <laughs> that would be what I call a proper English, but... Uh, they're just, you know, speaking in a very casual manner. So before we begin, amigos y amigas, may I just say thanks, uh, everyone again for your patience as you wait patiently for my next episodes. As you've noticed, I've been releasing episodes sporadically as I've been busy with some personal matters. So thank you again for your patience. Radio, let's get cracking now with today's episode. So, as you know, uh, this is how the short chat um, segment works. I will read a very short script between two people. And after I finish it, you'll get a chance to repeat some of those phrases after me. I will randomly select the phrases and then you'll have to repeat them out loud. You have to say it out loud. I don't care if you're shopping at the supermarket right now and listening to the EMS show. You have to say these phrases out loud. Okay, maybe people are going to stare at you and think you're weird. Okay, good luck. Here we go. My imaginary friend Anna has bumped into her friend Bob on the street. So the phrase bump into, by the way, means to meet by chance. Uh, it, it is an unplanned meeting and, uh, you know, just happens by chance. Okie dokie. So Anna is the first um, person to say something. So she says the following. Hi, it's so good to see you. It's been ages. How are you? And Bob says, I am great. What about you? And Anna says, I am doing pretty good. Just got a promotion and a new position in my firm. How about we meet for drinks and catch up? Bob says, sounds awesome. How about Wednesday at the usual place? And Anna says, yeah, sure, I can make it. See you then. And Bob says, see you. Great. Have you got all that, amigos y amigas? It was a very short chat. Let me just quickly explain what we mean by the following two phrases. So when someone says, it's been ages, it's informal way to say it's been a long time. It's been ages. A lot of years have passed, you know, if you want to translate that literally. It's been ages just means it's been a long time. And it is informal English. For example, hey Milena, it's been ages since you released your last episode. <laughs> uh, we know it hasn't been that long, just a month. Let's calm down everybody. Right, the next phrase I'd like to clarify is the question that starts with the following, how about? So when we say how about this or how about that, how about uh, the phrase, the two words followed by a pronoun and a verb. So you can use it in that way. It means we are about to propose something to make a suggestion, um, recommend something. It could be a place or an idea. So the two examples I used in the short script are how about we meet for drinks? And that's when Anna suggested to Bob to meet for drinks and catch up. By the way, to catch up, 
I think most of you know what that means. It means to get together and have a chat. Talk about the times you've missed together. And the second example was when Bob suggested the uh, day he suggested to meet um, on a particular day of the week. He said, how about Wednesday? So that's another way uh, to use this phrase, to use the two words, how about, to start that question, how about. So in other words, what he means to say is, does Wednesday suit you? Are you busy on Wednesday or are you free on Wednesday? Does Wednesday suit you? So this is a really good phrase to learn if you want to sound more fluent in English. And now, how about you try to repeat some of the phrases after me? Okay, your turn, amigos y amigas. Please repeat the following two phrases after me. Okay, the first phrase is, it's so good to see you. It's been ages. It's so good to see you. It's been ages. And the second phrase I'd like you to repeat is, how about we meet for drinks and catch up? How about we meet for drinks and catch up? Okie dokie. That's it for today, amigos y amigas. Thanks for listening and thanks for tuning in in today's episode. You're always welcome to visit EnglishMadeSimple.net and find some resources on there to help you improve your English. And while you're there, if you'd like to know when I release the next episode, you can enter your name and email and I will let you know. As soon as you see my smiley face pop up from the side of the website, you'll know what to do. Just enter your details in and I'll keep you posted when the next episode comes out. As I've mentioned, we've got three more short chats episode to go. It's been a pleasure again. I hope you've learned something new today in today's episode 272. If something wasn't clear, be sure to send me an email and ask me. You've been jamming with Milena from English Made Simple. Until next time, hasta la próxima. Mm-hmm.